young people, boys and girls. NYCW's Wires and Girls. My song is love. Love to the loveless. In the 1900s, 15 year old Joseph Cardine witnessed the harsh treatment of young workers in his newly industrialised country of Belgium. You don't have to be. Moved by the death of his father, who he believed died from a work-related illness, vowed that he would change what he called the worker problem. Sixty-three years ago, I swore it on the body of my father that I should give all my life till my death to the salvation of working youth and working people. Joseph was ordained in 1924 and was known as the priest to the workers. He was confident that together, young workers could empower themselves to enforce their work rights. In 1925, Cardinal Joseph Cardine founded a movement called the Young Christian Workers. This movement was started to encourage fair conditions in their workplace. By incorporating Christian values into their work, young workers attempted to use their God-given dignity to improve their working conditions and treatment at work. Cardinal Cardine believed that each young worker is worth more than all the gold in the world. Cardinal Cardine presented the YCW with three fundamental truths. The truth of faith. Each young worker is unique and irreplaceable and has dignity because they are created in the image of God. They have a personal mission to change the world. The truth of experience. The way young workers are treated. This is often in contradiction to their God-given dignity. God created us to be his collaborators, to give to you all that is necessary to be a human being. The truth of method. The YCW is a mass movement for, by and with young workers to serve, educate and represent them using the famous method of see, judge and act. These truths were a call to the young workers to make a change in the world around them. In Rome, 1957, the first International YCW World Assembly and International Council was held. This saw 32,000 young workers from 84 countries participate. The 
founder of the international movement of the YCW, His Eminence Cardinal Joseph Cardine. It was the fulfilment of so many years of effort to unite and save the young workers of the world. Over 40 years after Cardine's death, the YCW continues to support the rights and dignity of young workers through community groups formed at a national and local level. Therefore, I thank you, oh, my dearest boys and my dearest girls, who give you for the salvation of the working use of all the peoples of the world. Oh, God needs your devotion. God needs your perseverance. Not one year, not two years, but persevere. Since his ordination, Cardinal Cardine has given his energy, his zeal and his great intellect to the cause of young workers. It is he who inspired and guided the growth of the young Christian workers.